This is a question that I'd love to hear all of your opinion on. Like the three tier system, the distributor tier was like the biggest learning curve for me because just as like a citizen in a free market, you you experience the other two. You're a consumer and then you buy stuff, right? But you don't necessarily have any experience with the dist distribution. So that was like just, you know, a pretty steep learning curve for me. It's like figuring out how to price things appropriately so that it hits the shelf in a certain way. And then obviously like taxes and freight and all these things that you don't know about. So like that's the one thing that if I would have done, if I would start over again, I would study that, I would figure, I'd probably work at a distributor for a little bit before I started a distillery, or at least have some sort of experience with that tier. Do you find that sometimes you're not able to create the things that you want to create because your market might not necessarily be ready for it or your customer yes. base? You yeah. Like, <laughs> you feel like you're kind of like, I don't want to say held back, but there is, you feel it like is you're true. Yes, there, I think sure. that that's the realities of, you know, we haven't really talked about, but the realities of the marketplace is why do people put out vodka first? You right. Know, because it's an easily accessible spirit. You can get it in the market and you can start making money to help build your distillery or, or get your market footprint right. larger, right? For us, uh, yeah, there's some things I have in my head that I would love to do, but I'm not in the business of educating the market into a new spirit. You know, right. I'm in the business of trying to sell our spirits right. and having people respond to that. And in L.A., we do it in a very specific way. You know, we, we find bartenders that we can partner with. We find influential bars. We get into programs that way, and that builds this sort of groundwork uh, uh, of desire among the bar people, and then we give them a place to go buy it. They become our sales force. You know, they push our products over the, over the bar through you know events or mixed drinks or features or menus or any of those things and then when the person loves the drink and they show them the bottle they can go buy it right and that's you know would i love to make my coffee whiskey which i have that yeah so good <laughs> honey yes. coffee with like did you guys not bring any of this with you <laughs>